So today, we combine the insane power of the boosted mini P.E.K.K.A. with the highest damage spell in the entire game to create the ultimate cycle deck. 3.1 Elixir Mini P.E.K.K.A. Minor Rocket Cycle, featuring one of the best buildings in the game right now, the cannon for that fast cycle defense, and the power combo of Wall Breakers and Fire Spirit for infinite chip cycle. And even the Dark Elven is a massively underappreciated card with that super long range for even more chip cycle. All right, Wall Breakers here, opening play, let's go apply that split lane tower pressure. Let's go. Dark up over here, left side. Four. Oh, Dark up plus a mini pack. It should be a respectable response. Destroys the hog rider. Man. Oh, he free spell. What? Okay, get out of here, Hog Rider. I see you with your free spell. Dragon Blade goes in the counter push, gets one shot to the tower, forces out a bomber, which actually destroys it in its entirety. Now we see a bomber, bats, and a hog freeze. What else do we think is in there? I think he might have a spicy card like Miner or, or sorry, not Miner, <laughs> Pekka or the Mega Knight might be in his deck. We'll kind of see how it goes. Far Spirit right lane. Let's go. He split Whoopers one more time. Hopefully, to apply some pressure to that right side. Maybe he ignores it, maybe not. But if anything, we can honestly go in here. Oh, see, I told y'all. I told you he'd have a spicy card. You guys didn't want to believe me. Let's go mini pocket here, right lane for the Mega Knight. Deliver down to these bats. Ready? Boom, baby. I missed two of the bats? How? How'd I miss that? I told you though, he'd have a spicy card. Nobody wanted to believe poor old Shane. Dragon goes down here, destroys the frontal dragon. We might see a quick little hog drop to punish my little Alexa right now. Eunice, no. But if we go wall breakers here, what does he got as a response? A free spell! <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna go cannon over here. Mini Pekka for the bomber initially. And then it turns around, destroys the hog rider as well. We gotta get back to our tank as soon as we possibly can because we know he has a Mega Knight in his deck. We're gonna actually ignore the bats, let the tower to finish that off. Hopefully, get in there. Forces out a Zespo in the form of the right lane pressure with the fire spirit. Dark Elven going down as well. Get four shots to the tower if unanswered. One shot, two shots, three shots, and four. And we are almost back in the damage lead. I I want to go a Monitor here right side, but I want to keep that Monitor for a Mega Knight if he goes Mega Knight until we have our Mini Pekka back in rotation. Wolfric is going down. He's going to Mini Pekka of his own. Yo, what? Okay. Mini Pekka over here right lane. He freezes down the Cannon plus the Road Delivery combo, but he's got nothing now for our Mini Pekka. I would go Wolfric, but guess what? We know he's got a Mega Knight in his hand. So instead, when you go Wolfric here left lane, Mini Pekka goes in. It gets one shot to that uh, Bomber. That's weird. That is very weird, my friends. He freezes down our Cannon plus our tower here. We deliver this back. Mini Pekka gets destroyed. Delivery destroys the bomber plus the hog rider. Minor the back over here right lane. Pulls whatever he uses on defense behind the tower. Dark Elven destroys. Dark Elven destroys. Yes, sir. Let's go. All right. One more quick little Dark Elven over here right side of the arena. Just get some chip damage to that tower. Forces on a Mini Pekka. Mini Pekka of my own. Fire spread up here. Cannon to pull the hog rider back, please. And a delivery as well. He freezes down the Mini Pekka, but it wakes up, destroys his hog rider. And now we got a Dark Elven going down here with a Miner on the counter push. Gonna make this all down, correct? Fire spirit here, please. Mini Pekka, don't die, please. Mini Pekka, don't die. Get to that tower. Where's your Mega Knight, buddy? No Mega Knight, Monique. Mega Knight. Dark Elf goes in. Tower goes down. And there we go. We have ourselves a one crown victory. Wait, did he have a Mega Knight? I told you he'd have a spicy. I thought he had a Mega Knight, but why wouldn't he use it at the end there? So we have the option of Fire Spirit or Wall Breakers for this opening rotation. We'll go Fire Spirit on the right lane to see what kind of strategy he has. Followed up some Wall Breakers, both sides of the arena, to hopefully force out a greater elixir response in the form of a cannon for a positive one elixir trade. Now, if we go Dark Mine over here, left side. We the rocket available to go for, oh, it's going to be a mortar. Mortar? Golden Knight, potentially? You can go Dark Elven over here, left side. Get ready for a potential dashing a Golden Knight. And a Mini Pekka in here. Should he store it? Quite. Oh, nice natal there, buddy. I kind of respect that, but at the same time, I don't. So, you know what? That's going to be, be how it be. Fire Spirit over here, left side. Mini Pekka destroys the Archer. Fire Spirit goes in there, forces out a Skeletons. Yes, sir. And now we can go in. Wahlberg us one more time. Minor left side of the arena. We might see one more cannon in the middle. Minor goes in. There is the cannon. Minor locks on. Boom, boom. The archer's going down. We can do the road delivery for the archers if we want to. I still have a feeling he's going to have something spicy in there. It might actually be E Giant Cycle. It's just the archers. Like, what uses archers in a uh, Golden Knight cannon deck? I'm not too sure right now. Dark Up destroys the archers, though. Come on, finish it off. Yes, sir. Get one shot to the tower. Oh, no. oh he's got log. Really? Logs both for a half dead uh, Dark Up? Go ahead pick over here left lane. You might see a rocket. I'm gonna go rocket down the Golden Knight. Not really the most ideal value, but it's better than nothing. And boom, baby. <laughs> Yo, we missed the skeletons. Lame. Lame sauce. All right, cool. Uh, we can actually go. I'm gonna pick up the Golden Knight. Boom. Nice, 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 nice. And there is the Electro Giant, just as we suspected. But my question is, 
Why does he have the E-Giant with archers? Maybe he just doesn't have anything else upgraded. Either when you go a Dark Up over here, left side of the arena, he's gonna nail the Dark Up into the Electro Giant. We can roll deliver down the Archer behind the E Giant. He might even go Lightning Spell here or Rocket. What do you got, my friend? Ooh, Lightning Spell it is. Minifica goes down, destroys the Archer as well as the Electron Giant. He nails it back, which I find very peculiar. Because honestly, we just go away with a Dark Up for the Cannon Cart. Fire Spread here, left lane. Wolverine can go through. The Minifica goes in, locks out the tower, and the Fire Spirit destroys the Archers and the Skeleton. And the Dark Up locks on, finishes the tower off, and we have ourselves a one crown lead against a Mr. Electro Giant Cycle. I'm gonna go Minifica over here, right side of the arena. Get the Real Deliver down for. Oh, buddy. We go Miner here for this uh, Golden Knight. Come on. Bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Ah, no Golden Knight to the tower for you. Electro Giant, get over here, my friend. Uh, so we pull the Giant back, destroyed, and now we have ourselves a nice little uh, one crown victory. Odyssey. Balanchin just first went live like a month and a half ago. I feel like E-Giant was overwhelming and appeared broken, but honestly, I don't feel like E-Giant gives me a hard time anymore. I find it very easy to defend lately. Once again, we have a bit of a dilemma. Wall breakers or Fire Spirit? Fire Spirit or Wall breakers? I choose Wall breakers. Oh, Let's Your Wizard goes down. Is a respectful response against both of the Wall breakers for a negative two trade. Darkman goes in and finishes off the, oh. Heal Spirit with Electro Wizard. I'm thinking Elite Barbarian to Bridge Spam, not Three Musketeers, and not Elixir Golem. Just an Elite Barbarian Bridge Spam deck. Oh, even better. Dude, it's the Sparky. Let's go. <laughs> yes, sir. What do you got for that, buddy? Please don't say a mirror. Please don't say the mirror. Uh, Scar me? Mini pack. Oh, <gasps> Wallbreakers. You can do it. Go, Wallbreakers. Boom. Boom. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. First push soaks the dash of the Golden Knight. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh, we almost just died. My life just flashed before my eyes. <laughs> that was very scary. I think it might go Goblin Jaw. Oh, no, Heal Spirit. Hmm. Okay. Come on, Minifica, get in. Oh, he's gone. Oh, no, buddy, buddy, buddy. I see your Sparky, and I raise you a rocket pop. Let's go, Wahlbreakers here, just by itself. He's gonna zap it down, guaranteed. Three, two, one, pop, zap. Oh, Electro Wizard, never mind. I even gave the epic countdown and everything, and then he, uh, he didn't listen to me. But if I go Miner back here, it distracts the stuff, and he's forced to go in with nothing. He goes Golden Knight, and then he says, oops. I mean, that is a pretty big oopsie, so I, I respect that. Let's go mini back here. Distracts and destroys. He wastes an ability, and then we just go away with a fire spirit and a mini Pekka. Come on, fire spirit. He's gonna go mini Pekka of his own. Oh, never mind. He's gonna go a goblin giant right side of the arena. All we need is a rocket to finish the tower off left lane. We go cannon over here, left side of the arena as well. I don't think he'll go down with a, uh, what do you call it there, my friends? Sparky Sword. Let's go Mini Pekka here. Maybe a bit too... Ah! Yeah, we're fine. Mini Pekka's going over the right lane for the Goblin Giant. Let's go a minor fire spread over here left side. And even if he goes... Like, this is 100 to 0. I kind of feel bad right now. This is a 100 to 0 matchup, dude. He's got literally no chance. Let's go Dark Couple here for the Heal Spirit. Bop. Yes, sir. Dark Couple locks on. And we can... Mini Pekka! Oh, that's close, actually. I mean, it's still 100 to 0. We just didn't do that defense very well. We can go Miner, Mini Pack over here, right side. Should be able to get in there, get some damages done. Electro Wizard coming down in 3, 2, 1. No. <gasps> yes, it does. Come on. Jump, Wall Breakers. I mean, you don't really jump, but just do something, you know, just destroy that tower. Let's go Dark Up here. Give me the two crown. One dart, two darts, maybe a three crown. Come on. 277 health. That was so close to three crown. Either way, good game. Well played. All right, mister. Yeah, man. We're going to go Dark Up over here, left lane. Please, Miner Tank for the Dark Up. And yes, sir. Oh, the Mega Knight. Okay, that's not really fair, Clash Roy. If I go Mini Pack here, it pulls the Mega Knight within range of both towers, which I think is worth taking the Mega Knight Splash. Because I obviously could use the Mini Pack up here to prevent that Mega Knight jump. But I think by using it in the middle, having this tower engage potentially helps out a bit. I don't really know. Maybe it's not worth it in the end. Let's <gasps> oh, that was 16 Mega Knight. Oh, no, dude. This is not what you want to see in Clash Royale. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna get destroyed in about five seconds once the Mega Knight crosses the river. One, two, three, four, and uh, oh, yeah. That is a um, um, wizard. <laughs> fire Spirit, jump, please. Jump, Fire Spirit, yes. And we can go mini pack it back here for the wizard first. Oh, what? 
Okay. Um, that's because that Mega Knight was level 16. That's why it survived so long. If I go Wallbreakers here, he's not back to Mega Knight, right? He, there's, there's no way he's got seven. <gasps> this is why you should know their entire deck before you get overcommittal, okay? Just, just a, a word of advice for y'all. Have a good idea what your entire deck is before you start getting crazy with your plays because that's what happens when you don't. I'm gonna go Miner here with a Fire Spirit. He blocks the Fire Spirit with absolutely nothing. It does get in there, it splashes the Miner as well, pulls us back into damage lead. This time we're gonna keep our rocket for the Balloon. Oh, what the, what? If I go a Delivery here... It does not actually destroy that. Let's go Mini Packet here. Out of the Giant Bomb, she runs out of the Giant Bomb there. Now he goes Mega Knight for this, and we don't have the Mini Pick on defense for this, uh, for this Mega Knight here. I don't think that Mini Pekka was vibe. I think that Mini Pekka was very much not a vibe, my friends. He's gonna go rocket or a balloon here. Mmm, okay. Let's go bonk. Cannon here should pull the balloon away. And by should, I mean it does not. But if we go Dark Gobble here right side for this balloon, he does not have anything in hand for my Dark Gobble. He might, he just zaps it back. What? Oh, he's got Skarmy. I forgot about the Skarmy. We have no way of dealing with the Skarmy on offense, but the Wall Breakers, boom! What if he gets through? Doing some decent tower damage. There is a variation to this deck that you can use if you want to, that uses the, um, what do you call it in there, sorry. The Lock Spell, sorry, instead of the Royal Delivery. That's an option. If you want to use Lock Spell instead of Royal Delivery, you can very much do that. But, um, I find the Royal Delivery just a bit better in certain matchups. Obviously, that's just kind of how Clash Royale is. But, like, we, we don't really have any way of dealing with this Garmy on offense, particularly in this battle right now. Oh. Let's go Miner by, by itself right here. Cannon, I want to go a bit up high. That way it could snipe a Wizard if you potentially try to use the Wizard to snipe it down. But I want to get in a Dark Gobble up here left lane. Might see a Balloon right lane, potentially. Come on, Mini Pekka. There's the Balloon. Rocket going down. Now he's going to go with a Switch Arena here. Mirror the Balloon up left side of the Arena. So we're gonna get ready with our world delivery. First wait for this minor, please. Oh, there's the balloon right side. We're already back to another dark oven. He only has his death spell for it. It might be a bit of a longer battle. Come goes in there, forces of the skeleton army. We destroy the balloon with one shot to our tower, but now we can go in with the miner as well as the wall breakers. He has to go with a mega knight for this defense. Or a wizard does not one shot them. They both connect, and now we are within a rocket range. Yeah, man. Why did you not use your mega knight there, buddy? <laughs> so the reason that was a bit of a longer battle is honestly strictly because of the skeleton army. We didn't have a proactive way of clearing through it on offense to allow our wall breakers to get through. If you have a problem with that, you can use the log spell instead of the royal delivery. So once again, we have the option of wall breakers or first, but honestly, you're good to go with either of them. So just choose whichever one you like. The wall breakers... Most, for the most part, force out a greater electric response, but the fire spirit kind of gives you a better idea what kind of deck they're running. We see a Hog Rider with a NATO spell. Makes me think, probably, maybe a Valkyrie deck with the Hog Rider? Come on, no shots? Yo, there's no way. There's literally zero chances that happens. Okay, deck going to be a Hog of Valkyrie Execution deck. We do have the Mini Packer. Oh! He's back to a... Already? Does he got Log Spell again? He logged earlier. Oh, he's got the Cannon. Okay, it's not exactly what I thought it was going to be. It's not the exact one I thought it was going to be. Okay. okay. Alright, we're going down. Does he go hog rider again for the fire spirit? He might. Come on. No. Yes. <gasps> I used my modder to... Oh, never mind. It worked. <laughs> it worked, dude. That was calculated. Alright, this time we're going to go minor left side of the arena with no dark oven. Just minor by itself here. Ice right, spirit goes down. No Valkyrie. We got one minor shot, two minor shots, and two and a half, which counts as two because the half doesn't count. But I'm going to go mini pick over here for the Valkyrie. And then is he back to a hog rider? I don't think he is quite yet. Mini goes in. The fact that he's got a cannon in there gives him a decent counter for our wall breakers. But we do have a fairly fast cycle. <gasps> Ooh, I think this will walk into my... Nope, it will not, Shane. <laughs> oh, yeah, I just did that. <laughs> oh, but delivery goes down, destroys, he nails it back. Buddy, what's he doing? Does that mean he's got the cannon in place of goblins? I think that's what it is. He has the cannon in place of the goblins, which I guess makes sense given the current meta. So he wants to get spicy up in here with a uh, rocket on our tower. Fart, but goes in, forces out an executioner. I could honestly go in with a high cannon. 
to hit his executioner first. And then we can actually go um, the minor right here. Should be good to go for his defense pretty easily. Pulls the hog rider back. Yes, sir. He does it all in there. But the mini packer destroys. No hog damage. One hog shot. Not the end of the world. We can deal with that. We can deal with that every day of the week. Mini packer goes in the counter push. I really wish we could rocket that in there. But he's too smart, my friends. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can I go down one more time? We are back to a minor again. Let's go minor over here left lane. Outside of the range of the executioner. Dog up and down for the executioner as well. With a road delivery. And I really want to go in with a, a wall breakers. He's going to go cannon in the middle. We go minor back here. He nails it all back, but the road delivery is tanking for the fire spirit. Fire spirit jumps in there. We force out an additional cannon drop. Can I get greedy with a rocket on his tower here? I think we can get greedy. I think we can easily defend his pushes and go rockets on towers. All we need is one more rocket, and we can easily destroy his tower with a couple of minor shots as well. I'm not even too sure what he's doing right now. I think he realized that. I think he knows he can't get to my tower. Why is everyone giving up against this deck? Is it that strong? Maybe, but I'll take it. Good game. Well played, buddy. And we are absolutely slaying out here on a nice little undefeated push with this deck, beating a wide variety of strategies. Very, very happy with the guys and girls. Give it a try. Let me know how it goes for you. But he's in a video. Thank you. We shall see you all in the next one.